Today in the United States, the most common form of debt is student loans. Currently, 43 million Americans nationwide owe $1.5 trillion, and 7 million of them in 2018 defaulted on their debt. The current system right now for students going to college is applying for student loans, federal or private, or federal aid, and applying for scholarships and grants. The national government offers students money to pay for college every year through federal programs such as FAFSA and others that are currently being offered to U.S. students. States, such as California and others, offer free tuition at community college and also give grants based on need and merit. As students in our senior year of high school, many of us are going to college and we face going into debt without, without government aid, many of us would be stuck paying student loans for many years. So the hot button question is, should the national government pay for student tuition? Many Americans would oppose this for many reasons, but there are pros to free college. Good jobs require a good education, and that is why we are going to make public colleges and universities tuition free. Free college? That sounds too good to be true. Now, some may say that free community college or public universities ain't worth the hassle to fight for, but there are some compelling points on why free, free community college is worth to fight for and is very beneficial. Which will help. Now, many low-income families and just the average citizen, in fact, can use community college or public university as an equal opportunity for their destiny. Now, that statement may be too bold, but in fact, having citizens experience free public universities uh, can motivate the students to move up higher in their education, thus having a whole community be educated. Uh, meaning more opportunities for the low-income families, for anyone in that matter. Uh, the fear of collecting debt is something that all students face, and is the number one reason why uh, many um, students don't uh, you know, go to college or level up their education. Uh, they would save thousands of dollars and get experience. In this meantime, the students can explore what they want to do in their career and their future, and find their past passion without you know wasting their money or wasting anyone's time. But to back up this point, here is Bernie Sanders. They tried to get a higher education and left school deeply in debt. Economic. Uh, many of the students who attend public universities can receive higher paid jobs compared to those who didn't get their free education. Uh, there would be no excuse on why they didn't receive the basic education, thus putting those who went to community college or even public universities for that matter to be uh, at a higher chance of receiving a job. Uh, a matter of fact, those who uh, go to uh, college or graduate and receive masters or bachelor's degrees don't actually need that amount of education for the job that they were going for. The students get scammed into paying um, for knowledge or even classes they don't even need for their job. Uh, with this in mind, everyone that has the same amount of knowledge, it would make master's degrees seem even more valuable to employers, uh, making master's degrees uh, a supply and demand for the economy. Dr. Ron Tice was asked a few questions from our field reporter. The first one was, economically, is free tuition a good idea and can the government pay for it? Dr. Ron Tice replied with, I think free tuition is a good idea as the economy and the states will be better shaped. So many people are financially stopped due to high student loan payment. If uh, tuition was no cost, the money that normally goes to pay student loans uh, will flow into the economy. Next, Ron Tice was asked, should every person have the same opportunity to attend high-level university? He replied with, absolutely. If a person is able to meet the requirements to successfully complete a degree program, they have uh, a right to be there. Everyone should have the opportunity to apply and not be discriminated against. Hold up. Before you start thinking that free college is going to save the universe, there are reasons why the government has been hesitant to give the American people free college tuition. Here's a video titled, is free college as good as it sounds? The City College of San Francisco saw a huge spike in enrollment after it began its free tuition program. Now, the college is asking the city to cover the extra costs like hiring more professors and providing student services. Firstly, the main reason why students drop out of college isn't the cost for education, because they can get student loans or financial aid. It is the cost of the books and living and free college doesn't eliminate that. Another reason is the credential inflation that would come with free college. If every single student had the same opportunity to get at least a bachelor's degree, then every job would make that a requirement, forcing students to be pushed into a system after high school, even though some students barely got their diploma. So they would get the raw end of the deal 
being the only job they could get is a low income job. Also, taxes would be, have to be increased because someone would have to pay for it, and that's the taxpayers, which would cost them $79 billion a year. That includes teachers and appropriate equipment it would take to run a school. And the American people throughout history have always hated it when taxes have been increased. Finally, free college doesn't make the economy better by improving the workforce or producing more material goods. All free college does is just give younger people a higher education. So to sum up, free college isn't totally beneficial to all American people. It benefits those who want to go, but not everyone. What can we do to help students go to college? Well, first, we can increase funding for public schools and make it easier for students to receive aid. By doing so, this means that the national government isn't paying for every student to attend college, but it is also helping those who need it the most.